What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of For the Girls, brought to you by Relationship Restored. What a coinky dink! I'm back in the middle. <laughs> uh, musical that lasted chain. long. <laughs> you look great in the middle, though, Brie. I'm but not here for it. Comment profile. below if y'all liked me in my last show when I was on the with this angle. Look at this angle. This is my good side. I don't even know which side no, is my good side. No, it's no, just not front. Side. Front is not. Yeah, I might have anyways, some opinions when I end anyways. up in the middle. But you did really good in the middle, Cece. You know, I try. Let's vote. Everyone just say CC equals middle. I mean, she was really good at like. We have to give you a turn though. Next, <laughs> Angela's right, in the middle. Right. Watch, I'm going to be like. <laughs> this episode is not about who's sitting in the middle. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, Unfortunately. We're, talking, <laughs> we're talking about how to love someone who doesn't love themselves. Mm. And before we jump into this, let's shout out who presented this topic. Hey, y'all. I was given this task. Her name is Cena, that boss Cena. Oh, hey, hey Cena. Cena, that boss Okay, Cena. shout out to all my boss babes. That, that capital that <laughs> boss babe mama to three girls and she has a brand k sprinkles official Let's y'all go. she sold over 10k items on asos honey Ooh. okay thank you for the topic boom okay. we love it and before we get into the topic because we we talked about this a little bit we didn't want to portray this topic in the wrong way right so what do we mean by somebody who doesn't love themselves and there's two different angles here right you have someone who is your significant other that you're in a relationship with intimately and then you have like family and friends it could be a girlfriend it could be a mom your sister whoever so this isn't just for significant others but when we are talking about significant others we will point that out but in terms of someone who doesn't love themselves we and you are no one to look at someone and say they don't love themselves. But what we mean by this is when you see someone who you see value, you see worth, you see potential, and you, you're you just like, wow, this person is so great and so awesome. But in the way that they move, in the things that they say out loud, or in the way that they deal with relationships, it shows that they don't value themselves the yeah. same. They don't see the same worth that you yeah. see, whether this is they're dealing with things that they shouldn't be, they're putting up with stuff that they shouldn't, and they continue to put themselves in situations to be devalued so that's what we mean by being with someone who doesn't love themselves yeah. them not seeing their own self-worth now on the other hand someone could have a rough patch in life you know someone could pass they could lose their job mm-hmm. they could gain weight they could have a baby there's all these different things that could happen mm-hmm. where somebody is not feeling great about themselves that's different than what we're talking about mm-hmm. okay and we can talk about both but i just want you guys to be aware because y'all be getting crazy in the comments mm-hmm. like spice, not spice. understanding where we're coming from you gotta so watch the whole to make show sure. yeah like y'all see the clips yeah, and then go off saying. on us. That's, that's watch, exactly watch what it is. Show. People, but, <laughs> but also, it's cool though. We love y'all. We love. I mean, feedback. that's just the nature of people, y'all. Yeah. People see a little sixty second clip and then just make judgment off of that clip. But you know, there'd be a whole forty five minute episode behind right. it. Right. <laughs> yeah. but, anyway. but I mean, okay, so all relationships, they're all different, and they all have different degrees of love. Yeah. There's moms with their children. Um, best friends, siblings, what's special about you and a significant other or a spouse or whatever is society will accept a little bit more of a degree of codependency. Like it's okay for in some, in some way, shape or form, it's okay for you to, 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 to feel down on yourself and, you know, your husband pick you up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't think that's where we're going. We're going with, you're with someone who really just doesn't see the value, like you just said. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do you deal with that? Like, do you just like, fuck that shit, I'm kicking him to the curb? Like, you know, no, because like you said, people go through rough patches or, you know, you you unpeel layers to them yeah. and you you learn about them and it can be endearing to learn about the different layers but with that could come learning that they don't value themselves to a certain degree mm-hmm. you know and i think it's okay to say hey you know i want to be there for you i want to lift you up but it, it gets to a point where You know, you have to have enough self-awareness and love for yourself to set a healthy boundary. Mm -hmm. You have to set a healthy boundary because if you're with someone long enough who does not love themselves, 
you could see that mischie- mischievously creeping up on you, mm-hmm. you know? So, you know, and I, I'll, I'll just like give a more concrete example. I, I threw around a lot of words there. <laughs> like, you know, you could, yeah, you could be in a relationship with someone and it's, it's going well and you realize like they're doing self-destructive type thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you want to help them because that you're affect you, yeah. 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 And you want to help them. You're you're setting up meetings, AA, um, re- rehab stuff A-A-A? like that. A-A-A? <laughs> I, think, A-A-A? I think it's two A's. Oh, A-A. A-A. <laughs> Tri- alcoholic A is a the car service. <laughs> Y'all sorry. Alcoholic anonymous. <laughs> yes, <laughs> all of that. But you, you you guys got where I was going, right? Yeah, we got, you know, it, we got you're, it. You're, you're, you're doing all the things Find to help things that to person, them, or yeah. they might not be an alcoholic. They not they might not be into drugs they might you know be suicidal there might yeah. be things and you're trying to help them and you're trying to build them up yeah. and then you find one day it's really brought you down mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. the point where now you're depressed mm-hmm. and you know you're looking at yourself or they may say one of the byproducts of them not loving themselves is they might lash out at you Mm -hmm. and try to make you feel they might make you feel bad about yourself Mm -hmm. they might verbally abuse you Mm. they might physically abuse you like there has to be right (laughs) Bree said kick their ass (laughs) um (laughs) what's what's the hotline for domestic abuse because i know that's not okay okay. call angela (laughs) hannah no no but actually we we should say take that at the end we have literally i mean i'm sure that you guys watching and listening have experienced friends being in situations that are not good for themselves and one rule of thumb that i always say right is what advice would you give your friend if she was if if she was you Right. right and if somebody is dealing with a situation where this person is so insecure so hurt so broken that everything that happens it's a defense mechanism against you. It's an attack on you. And therefore, your needs aren't being met. You feel constantly on defense. Mm-hmm. And no matter what you try to do to help, it's always brought back at you. And then it's to the point where you start to feel like you're the one with the problem. Yes. Yeah. That in itself is a problem. The second rule of thumb is you can't help anyone that doesn't want, want right. to help What's the themselves? saying? You can bring... Hold on, help me. because I, mess- bring- I messed up AAA and AA. You can bring the horse... To the, to the water, water, but you can't make it drink. You can't make them drink it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, and also, it's about perspective. Someone can be amazing, you know, not have a drug problem, alcohol problem, whatever, but they really, they, they, they're so used to the pain of not loving themselves mm-hmm. that that's how they live, and they can't accept love from someone else, right? Yeah. For for whatever reason, whatever traumas, you know, and as much as you try and you push and you pull and and you're committed to this person and I'm not saying leave them, but you cannot force that person to see what you see. Mm -hmm. And like you cannot put that in their brain. Yeah. It's just, I mean, you just can't, you can't do it. But something that Dre always says, I'm always like, yes, I wish I coined that (laughs) is a relationship is two holes coming together, right? Mm -hmm. Not two halves of two people becoming whole. And, even though we all was that not right? He just gave me the. It's not two halves coming together, but two holes growing together. Oh, ah. excuse me, two holes growing <laughs> together. My bad. That, but see, that sounds great. That's why I was like, "Dang, which I, which I coined." It. I've said it coined because I can't even remember it. So, but to that extent, if you think about it. When you get in a relationship or when we're and we just had an episode on this, the um, the difference between the girlfriend, the fiance, the marriage phase, mm-hmm. right? Seeing potential versus promise mm-hmm. versus a guarantee. Mm-hmm. When you're in that potential phase, you should absolutely see red flags. You should mm-hmm. absolutely be able to communicate. You should absolutely mm-hmm. be able to see mm-hmm. if someone is not in a stable space yeah. to not only love themselves, but love you. Someone who doesn't love themselves cannot love you. There's and no you way. should be able to tell. And, that. Yeah. and what Angela was saying, and I'm going to pass on Cece because my baby has, has been waiting for her turn. <laughs> We've been Hello? talking a lot. Is that what Angela was mentioning, the very first thing that I thought of was therapy. Yeah. Like therapy is the number one way that if somebody is struggling with something, you need to talk to someone. Yeah. And the significant other is not the best person to talk to. Yeah. They can't help no. you in the way that you yeah. need help. You, you, can't need a, you need an outside party. Yeah. And but now what happens if you say, hey, I think you should talk to someone. If that person doesn't take that step and do that thing and you've made it aware that, hey, I see this problem. I want you to get help. I love you, but I want. As, I, I think want as long as you communicate it, 
enough so that that person becomes aware if they're constantly not doing it of course yeah. give them grace to yeah. to step into that in their own timing yeah. but if time enough time has elapsed that they're just and if not your doing needs it, aren't being met at all then you need to have a conversation with yourself about yeah. what you're going to do next do yeah. you love you that's yeah. my question you know? yeah <laughs> but i i want to come i want to come to this topic with a different angle of, i knew you was girl bring <laughs> it to me bring it as, as being the friend that has that you you're the friend and you're seeing your girlfriend yeah. in a relationship where she's obviously not being valued and yeah. being loved. How do you navigate that relationship, right? Ooh. Um and so one thing that I like to do because I have experience with this mm -hmm. is I don't try to be like I don't I don't talk shit about the other person. Yeah. So, like, say I have a girlfriend. She has a dude. I don't talk shit about the dude. I don't either. I just pull up. I, I don't even do that. <laughs> no, that was a joke. Yeah, and, and, that was know, a joke. Like stuff like that's not received well. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No. No one likes to be told about themselves. Yeah. You know. So instead of coming it from an angle of like, uh, uh, girl, you deserve better. Like this nigga ain't shit. You know. Instead of coming at it like that. Be supportive and yeah. also just be, have grace with that person yeah. Yeah. and know that they have to navigate this journey in their own time. Yeah. And the way that you can help them is just being a positive influence in their life. You continuing to do personal development, you continuing to grow and yeah. get into healthy relationships and them seeing that will actually is enough to to ignite them to make some type of change yeah. and if you don't really know how to go about that one resource that i would suggest people read you can do it via audible that's how i like to take in information is a book called option b mm. it's from cheryl sandberg and adam grant and this book is essentially a book on how to be resilient mm -hmm. and also how to be the friend of someone mm, that, yeah. who, 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 who is going through some grief. Yeah. Yeah. And I have found tremendous value in this book. I think that this book is a book that you should read to be proactive and not reactive yeah. because something is going to happen in your life. You are going to be a friend. Um, to someone who is having some type of difficulties. And if you can be a resource and a positive guide to that person, I mean, sometimes that's really what people need in order yeah. to make that significant yeah. change. Yeah. And, and go ahead. sorry, I was going to say, like, I, I wanted to piggyback on what CC was saying. Like, we're not saying, like, communicate it if they don't get together you know, Lee, like for your own sake, that's not what we're saying. Cause obviously who the person who might have sent this to us is in a relationship and she loves a person. She's trying to love them. She's yeah. trying to love them. She's asking us for the help and we're not saying leave him, but there, there has to be some type of trust. There has to be some type of trust between you and this person where you trust this person enough to better themselves. Mm -hmm. You trust this person enough to go through the steps, to, to go through the journey, to, to get somewhere where they're in a place that they can love you. Cause like you said, they cannot. Oh, Dre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they cannot. They cannot love you if they don't love themselves. Like it, I just don't see how that works. Like there's they I've like, for example, my husband said that I don't bring enough like transparency or like relatability and like examples like I just wait real quick before you continue let's shout out Sean because Sean watches every episode, watches every episode. Every episode. when it lands on oh, his big Sean. screen TV and gives Angela notes I'm like baby <laughs> <laughs> you did great here you look great here you but I think here you're a little gonna... bit better in this area he is, he is a committed and loyal husband so shout out to Sean <laughs> shout he's out a major Sean. supporter shout and um, soon he will be on the show we just we're trying he to work be. the men up yeah. to it. him we're, and Shane be. Shane's like, Shane's not really here for it. He's not here we're, gonna get, we're gonna get you. I'm like, not a um, host. <laughs> but like, okay, I'm giving this example. You know, my sister just got out of a long re relationship. Um, yeah. And this person that she was with has said many times that he didn't love his, his own self yeah. to her. And wait, has said what? 
many times. He didn't love himself, but oh. they were together for years. And oh, her yes, and she was mm -hmm. trying. She was going through many different avenues and ways to be with him because of the love. Mm -hmm. Nine years, y'all. Nine, nine years. years. Nine wow. years. Yeah. Yes, she did eventually leave him, you know, for her own sake. Um, Cause she was waking up crying every morning. Yes, yeah, you know? when when, when you, I mean, even before you get to that point, there there does come a point where you have to make a decision of I'm going to leave, and then you have to execute on your decision. A lot of people, a lot of people, know when they should exit stage left yeah. when it comes to a certain relationship you've tried you've communicated you've done therapy you've done personal development you've you know whatever yeah and it's still not getting better yeah there has to be a point where you have to be like you know what i'm worth better i'm worth more yeah. i'm not getting what i desire yeah. even if even regardless of the situation and i know and i know what i'm saying is easier said than done i'm aware i got it Trust me. But it's mind over matter at the end of the day. Yeah. It's about mental awareness, mm -hmm. being emotionally yep. self-aware. Yep. To, yeah. make, to a choice. make a choice. Because how many times are we going to have this it, conversation? Listen, let me tell you, know? we have a fine... I know everyone has heard this before. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only thing that's guaranteed is taxes and death. Right? But... Yeah, taxes. God that's damn. That's dark. <laughs> I mean, but it's true. Right? What about so showers? She brought the, she brought the IRS no, to the shower, table. Sh showers are not guaranteed because... You brought the IRS to the table. <laughs> Oh, so y'all act like taxes. Anyway. No, they're guaranteed. It's they anyway, are guaranteed. You got to pay your taxes. You're not guaranteed. There's a lot of homeless they people who find you if you don't pay your taxes. Water is not guaranteed. There's a lot of tribes in Africa who don't receive water. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Well, and they also probably don't pay taxes. But anyway, that's, that's that's besides the point. <laughs> Hence why their water doesn't work. The day, that's what I'm talking about. You only, have, you only have one life to live, right? So, so I think... If you've done what you feel like you need to do and you've gone through the necessary steps, you have to make a decision at the end yeah. of the day of where am I going to continue to She go? did it for her happiness. Exactly. And I wanna, That's what's most important. I want to say that this guy who she was with, he was in my wedding, like, didn't love her. Like, I said, like, you know, I brought up the statement, this person can't love you if they don't love themselves. He had so much codependency on her. Like, he was doing her taxes. He was waking her up. He was doing all kinds of stuff but couldn't provide the love that April needed. Because there's a difference between you loving someone and you knowing how to right. love someone. Yes. He and loved her, but he didn't know how yeah. Okay, Bree, talk her. about it. Yes. So this is, the, I had a moment this week where I was just like, what the, you can only help someone, but, but so, so much, much, right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, we know how life works. Like you said, taxes and death are guaranteed. guaranteed. No matter what. Breakups are a part of life. Yeah. Breakups happen when you know that this person is not aligned with what I want. It's not working. I'm not happy. This isn't good for me. And the issue that I have as a coach, someone who works with women that are dealing with relationships, businesses, sometimes you got to let a business go Ooh. the same way you got to let a friend I, or a family absolutely. member or a man go. Mm -hmm. This is one of the biggest things that I would say to think of and, and, and remind yourself of. The conversations that you have when you're dealing with someone who you know doesn't know how to love you because they barely love themselves enough mm -hmm. is... The conversation that you're having with the friend, because it happens to you're having the conversation with someone, with somebody, how many times whatever. have you had this conversation and how much time has gone by in between each conversation? Yeah. So when I talked to this person I was talking to, I said, this is the exact same conversation we had eight months ago, four months ago, two weeks ago, a year and a half ago when you met the nigga. Why are we still having this conversation? You knew from the moment that you met him, this wasn't for you. It wasn't good for you. Yeah. And how many more conversations are we going to have to have like this? How many times do you have to feel belittled? Do you have to feel? Mm -hmm. And so what you have to ask yourself when you're in a situation and it's happening, because I know, and like CC said, give grace, like yeah. stuff happens. Yeah. But ask yourself, how many times have I gone through this? Is this the... This is the tenth time I'm having the same conversation. Right. Oh, honey, Two years, third, three years, uh, ten years, nine yeah, years later. Nine years. If this is still happening, you have to decide when enough is enough. Yeah. And all you're doing by prolonging the situation and continuing to love someone Waste who time is not and you're loving you back, yeah. you're now nine years in the hole, right. and you're asking yourself, "I wasted all this, all time. this time." And so, I want to give like another example to to so that for the people who know, like, when do you continue to stay with this person? Yeah. Um, I, and I'm yeah, just gonna Angela. <laughs> the cons of being in the middle. <laughs> I just 
I'm going to bring long, luxurious, hair. long, luxurious, <laughs> beautiful hair. Thanks. Um, all natural. By the way. Okay. Let's talk about it. Ooh, scale. Mm -hmm. Shout out my mom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Sean and I like in throughout all of our phases, he and Cece was just talking about how chill he is. Mm -hmm. Even kill rarely shows emotion. But when he would get upset, he would be so angry and loud. And I kept telling him like, this is not sustainable. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to take this every time you get mad at Ooh, me. Shane too, girl. He has an anger problem. He and so had an anger problem. He had, He's working on that's it. That's what I'm But Sean, Sean, I don't know what, I mean, therapy. I know it fixed it. Yeah. Therapy. And I know that's not the cure-all for everyone. And it doesn't it's work for everyone. Start, you, have to, you, have to, you have to find your own thing. one day, it, it was probably after four years, one day he said, I don't want to talk to you like that anymore. Mm -hmm. He made a therapy appointment. So after four years after, of y'all being married? No, in a relate, we were we were engaged. Okay. No, this was actually hold on because I know he's watching this. Um, on, she the did scare on, on the big screen, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "No, let me." Let me it let was like date. within the first year of us being married. Okay. And we had been through it, and it gotten better through like I was seeing progress. Yeah, but it, it happened again. Like he got so angry. Like he's never put his hands on me or anything, but yeah. yelling at someone like that wasn't okay. Yeah. like ever. And he he just and it it's from what he had seen growing up yes. with his father. And it usually mm -hmm. always is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so he said to me, "That's not okay. I know you've been asking this of me for years. I'm gonna go to therapy." Mm -hmm. And it took years because he wasn't on the therapy tip for a while. He did and got addicted to it, mm -hmm. to therapy. That's good. Now you're looking at your bills That's like, well, do you need to go five times work. a week? I'm <laughs> glad it's working. Sean and the I bill came in today. <laughs> are going on year five. Yeah. And he has not talked to me. So it's been three That's right. years. Shout That's out, so Sean. Good. Now he, right. now he, <laughs> he's oh, going to kill me. He lectures the shit out of me. <laughs> Well, all, I think all of good. our men, yeah. because they're intelligent, Listen, do that. Yes, Dre my, pulls out a whiteboard. Out of me. Yes, no, Shane's the same way, girl. He he gives me Dre a like. prints out a packet. He writes a thesis paper. But you can't get mad at a lecture. Like, no. you got to, like, really, but like, okay, now no we're communicating. We're no communicating now at this point. We're not heaven. yelling at each other. Yeah. You know, and so that's that was, I was seeing progress, and he fixed it. It yeah. was a problem that he fixed. It was... Yeah. Um, I guess we could that even... That was somebody who needed help and wanted to help. Yes. yes. He wanted to... I yeah. trusted him enough I mean, to get and the you, to get the job you done. noticed those types of things early on, right? So, like, during the dating phase... Yeah. You... I mean, there's always something where it's like, uh-uh, excuse me, I don't like that. Yeah. And if they don't make the, the take the initiative to correct it... Yeah. That's a, see, that's this a, thing, that's a good this, sign this that thing, later on... This, yep. this yelling thing didn't come out until, like closer to the end because he had uh -huh. fallen in so much uh -huh. he cared enough about don't me say that sean don't that. yell at nobody he don't even yell at his kids yeah. like i'm that emotional i like i'm that person uh -huh. so he you said, know i'm the one to press <laughs> all his buttons <laughs> but also i had to learn how to communicate with yes, him in a way yeah. to not press his buttons yes, as well so yeah, it was yes. it was it's a it was a together it's thing. a double-edged sword but honey. at the end of the day he shouldn't be flipping out on me like that's not okay and you're he, right he fixed it he yeah. fixed it now you know i know that doesn't happen for everybody like it at what hurt. point do you go nine years effort. no yeah. Yeah. absolutely not the answer is no it was like four years four years into our relationship we were year one of marriage but you also and were it, seeing I, that I was for the first seeing, time it's not like you right yeah. it's not like it's like four continuous years yeah no i think i saw it like towards the end of the girlfriend phase we talk about these phases uh -huh. and then um for a while in the end of the girlfriend phase and then the fiance phase it was getting better it was like few and far in between mm -hmm. but they, they were still happening and then that one time in our marriage when it was like boom i was like but think about that you said that one time yeah right and then that one time caused him to auto auto yeah. um, correct because he was so invested in the marriage exactly yeah, you know? but you see those signs yeah. early on and i can't stress yeah. enough the signs that you see early on listen i've dated a lot of men prior to my husband and i'm not trying to like say that to like whatever sound however because apparently people have an opinion about that but mm -hmm. it is it's the reality yeah. of who i am mm -hmm. so i saw a lot 
of negative signs prior to me getting to my husband that led me to not take them seriously and to take my husband seriously because he showed me something different. Yeah. You know. And if you know, you have to love yourself enough to be yeah. like, nah, this ain't it. But yeah. he's fun, so I have to just shift the way. If, should you want to live your life like mm -hmm. this, I have to just shift the way of how I see him and just understand that, like that's what I'm going to get from this person. Get what you and need. That you and, need and from that pushing. person and keep it pushing. Yeah. Until you come across someone who shows you different. You feel different around them. Their energy is different. And energy speaks loudly. Oh, yes. Okay? Energy is one of they the... They said that dogs, like, can feel... Yes, it's... Oh, and baby. So energy is, is, is one of the biggest... It's real. You're... The frequency of your energy is like one of the biggest vibrations in the quantum field, which is another uh, a topic Educate for another day. Us. <laughs> ah, Educate us. Educate us. Sounds like an audible. Quantum field. Oh, Drop the book. Drop listen, the book. Listen, y'all. I like sciencey stuff. <laughs> um. So so but but so the energy that you get from somebody speaks loudly, and you really need to recognize it and understand it, register it, and appreciate it. And then once you be are able to appreciate it. Take that and do with it what you feel like you should, right? So whether you should continue this relationship with whoever because you know how they're going to they're come or whether you should be like, you know what, this is something different. I'm going to invest more time into this or this is not good. This is not serving me anymore. And I need to de uh, di disinvest. Yeah. Disinvest. Dis well, I was going to say disinvest. Un I think that, Look, if they don't have that thing, you guys that, get that, that energy. If they don't have... <laughs> Lord... If they don't have that thing in them that's going to be like, this is wrong with me, that is, oh, I mean, no. I just feel like something like, and to my my example, going back to the example of Sean going to therapy, his therapist told him the reason he does that is because he wasn't loved by his dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, saying? I mean, honey, it always listen. boils down, typically it boils listen. down to some daddy issues. Yeah. This is why I said that therapy, and therapy, I don't want people to get therapy confused. Therapy does not mean that you talk to a counsel. They don't a give you a pill. <laughs> uh, it, no, there's so many forms of therapy. I call me doing my nails a sense yeah. of therapy. Mm, it's yes. therapeutic to me. I cut myself off from the world. I play music and I I do my whatever. morning meditation. Medi therapy I, I is not else. just sitting down with somebody, but in a sense of when we think of a professional therapist, yeah. therapy is good because what it does is this is one person in your whole life that doesn't know you, it's has no judgment, party, yeah. really doesn't care at all yeah. about whether you go this way or that way. They don't know the people in your life. They just want to help you dig deeper yeah. into what the real issue is. Yeah. And when most people go to therapy, their issues aren't the issues they think they had. Yeah. It's some stuff that had nothing to do with nothing that has everything to do with why uh, yeah. you are unhappy Mm -hmm. why you can't communicate correctly, yeah. why you have relationship issues. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, and I always say this, if you've never tried therapy, what is the harm in trying? If you live an adventurous life, you'll try anything once. Whether it's mm -hmm. jumping out of a plane, yeah. it's eating squid. Ugh. Squid, um, wait, girl, I love grilled like squid? Ugh, no, I grilled calamari. squid is amazing. I'll eat it, but I mean. Yeah. You don't do calamari? Look, anything. Let's use a better example. What's the thing, Dre, that I went, Oyster, said, ew, don't, don't eat that. Said, it's nasty. No, <laughs> girl, Oyster Brianna, are. you're tripping. All I'm saying is no. you should try You gotta, you gotta dress it up different. You gotta I dress it, it up. I tried it. No, all I'm you, ain't you should try. You might not dress it up right. I've tried squid, too. You gotta put all the horseradish and all the things. You must listen, be a texture person. I am. Listen, y'all. Okay. Just If you are willing you to it. try anything once, which you should be, especially when it comes to benefiting your life and benefiting your relationship, why are you not willing to try therapy in whatever shape or form that it comes in? You have to. You have, you to, yeah. have to help yourself. Yeah. And if you don't take the time to sit back and unpeel the layers, let's go back to Shrek, okay, and Donkey. The, the onion, layers the of, the of the onion is real. Yes. Like the surface yes. BS, you will never be happy. You will never be satisfied. You will never be good yeah. if you don't peel back them layers and find someone who loves the layers that are underneath the yeah. layers that they can see. What What am I dealing with here? Not you so, don't I mean, even know. And, and I no. mean, like, to, until you go through that process. To your point earlier. Try it. What's wrong with it? You know, therapy is different for everybody. Yeah. You know, I always encourage people to try the, the traditional therapy route of talking with a therapist, laying down on the couch, whatever suits your needs. And if that doesn't work, then seek other forms. Yeah. Right? 
Meditation. Meditation. Breathe. Journaling. Journaling. Breathe. Exercising. Like, exercising. She likes she likes to do like different self-care things. That's her, her form of therapy. What, oh, whatever, so whatever form of therapy works for you. Continue to navigate that. Try new things. Seek out new opportunities for you to figure out like this is my release. And I'm able to take time to quiet my mind, dig deep close my eyes and really understand what's happening within yeah. me right now. And that's what therapy is. And I think that people forget that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all it is, is doing something, something that allows you for to yourself. quiet your mind, dig a little deeper and figure out what's really going on here. Like, what are we doing? And at the end of the day, no one can tell you that. It's always going to come no from within. No one can bring. And the worst what thing. Was it the horse to the water? You yeah, can't that bring that together. You, you can bring, bring the, the horse, horse to the water, water but you can't, can't make, make it drink. drink it. Look, I couldn't. Or say, you can um, teach a man how to fish. Oh no, 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 yeah. You 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 can show a man how to fish, what? but but you can't make him. Make <laughs> no, it's not make him. It's Dre. Dre's looking at us with such dis. <laughs> He's like, who did I hire for this Dre. show? Wait, no, give it to me. Give it. To, wait, wait. It's yeah. it's you can give a man a fish oh. and he'll eat. Or you can, you can show, show him, him how, to, how fish to fish and he'll eat and for a lifetime. And he'll eat for a lifetime. So, is how to fish, he'll a eat day. for a lifetime. Same thing. Don't, don't, don't do no, that. No, no, I said it right. I said it right. That was a little anyway, like, I need these contracts. <laughs> We're going to move past this. Y'all got 30 this. days We're to get out. We're going to move past this. <laughs> Yeah, we're not. We're not we make well, up our own thing. We tried. Thing. We tried. We tried. That was good. You guys, we, we did it. We tried. Okay, okay. That's Where so were we funny. going with that? We have no idea. But um, anyway. But no, we, at the end of the day, what we were talking about was like somebody being willing to help themselves yeah. and go through those processes. And then if you're in the relationship with that person. Knowing how to support trusting, them. Trust them. Trusting them that they love, that they're going to get there. They're going to get there. they're but showing you. trusting them is the let no, them no, no. go. Sometimes okay. being like, you know what, if I'm going to trust you. Showing you like if they're not proving it, like let me show you how I'm going to try to do better. Show me by yourself because you're bringing I'm me a, down. I'm gonna need actions. Yeah, that's always the best option because if something is meant to be, if you are supposed to be with this person, sometimes space and grace is exactly what they need. Grace in a sense where don't break up with them, you. don't hurt Ooh, their she feelings. Gave us a rhyme. But say space, you know, oh, I, I got a little one too. Doctor Seuss, <laughs> don't ask me to rap. Dr. It'll be bad. Um, but no, for real, sometimes you have to gracefully step out of the situation and just give them time and say, you know, if, if, if it's meant to be, you'll get yourself together and, oh, and honey, I'll be here waiting. The universe will always provide you exactly what knows? you need in life. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Cena, the boss Cena, thank you for the topic. And, thank you, girl. you know, even if it wasn't for you or if it was for a friend, for a friend, you know, give grace. Possibly sometimes space. Give space. Some, <laughs> sometimes good space. And support. And support. And if you're if you're seeing that you made a boundary and now you are now having some hate for yourself, you gotta let you gotta let go. Yeah. If it's harming your if it's day to day. Harming life, you, you wake up go. crying. Mentally, you have anxiety distraught. every single day when you wake up. Nobody you, who loves you would make you feel that way. You don't way. even want the person to touch you or you don't want to touch yeah. them. Girl. Oof. Or boy, it's time. I to vote space. <laughs> you need space from that person. No, but in all honesty, I think that hopefully in all the conversations that we had, you guys are getting where we're coming from, right? There's everybody's situation is different. Um, however, no one who is not willing to help themselves will receive your help. Absolutely. So, you know, that's, keep that in that's mind. Reality at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you're looking at three women who decided to help themselves yeah. and decided to prepare themselves and made changes for, new journeys. for themselves to be the best versions of themselves and therefore attracted men who accepted, and supported, honestly, and honey, loved whatever that. you give you out spend that time into yeah. the universe yeah. will come back to you. Again, for it all sure. goes back to the quantum field. And we it might can, take a few men or women. To get to that right to get person. to that right, it but should. Don't waste your I mean, time on the speed bump if it was just a speed bump, okay. not an exit. Jeez. Okay, if we were just supposed to bump, just bump, bump. Why are we? Wait, wait, McDonald's wait, wait, wait. is the next it's exit. Like we should have made a right. What y'all think about that? I got it. No, I got it. I got, I got it. it. I got it. There's there's stoplights. Uh -huh. There's stop signs. There's oh. speed bumps. Speed bumps is like you get you just get right over and you keep on going. <laughs> 
a stop sign, you actually have to stop a light. You might be there for a while right. and exit. You're making a choice. You're going to a destination. Ooh. So why are okay, we? Why Brie. are we? <laughs> Dre is so funny. I need Dre to not be in our filming <laughs> sessions anymore because he makes faces at me like I'm not Listen, happy with what you just we're, said. We're gonna act like Dre's not here because Dre is not. For the girls, okay? I mean, he is, but he not up here, so. Holy crap. Love you, Jay. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Make sure you subscribe, comment, let us know what things you want to talk about because all these topics this week is what you said you wanted to hear. Another episode for the girls wrapped up. Let's cheers Woo. it out. Cheers, my babies. Bang. Yes. Bang. Yes. And we're out. Yes.